group of citizens spent close to a year studying the needs of our schools. The task force is recommending a facility plan to address four top priorities. Aging facilities. Did you know our average building is 53 years old? And more than half of our buildings were built between 1949 and 1963? Way back when the average cost of a new house was just $7,400. Back to my point. The plan will also address increasing enrollment and a shift in the city's population, safety and security, and last but not least, the need for 21st century learning environments for kids like me. Without further ado, here's the task force's proposal. To relieve overcrowding at Corral Drive in the southwest part of Rapid City, the task force wants to build a new elementary school south of Catron Boulevard and west of Highway 16. This means that many of the new students who go to Corral Drive would go to a new school. Due to the condition of Canyon Lake Elementary, capacity concerns, and more, the task force is recommending that the district close Canyon Lake. That means boundaries would shift and Canyon Lake students would move to another school like Meadowbrook. And since there will be room at Corral Drive, some kids will move there. The task force also thinks a new elementary school is needed in the Parkview area in South Rapid City. With the opening of this new third elementary school, Robbinsdale Elementary, a building built in 1953, that's 66 years ago, would close. A third new elementary school will be built by Vicki Powers Park. With the opening of this facility, students at Horace Mann Elementary would go to attend school at a brand new building and students who live north of the interstate will no longer have to be bused all the way to the west side. Pinedale, Meadowbrook, Norwood, and Black Hawk would all receive funding for safety and security upgrades, playground improvements, and steam squared labs. At the middle school level in phase one, both south and west middle schools would be rebuilt on the same sites. That's a long time coming. Stevens High School would receive dollars to build a new fine art swing and do other much needed maintenance. The Jefferson and Lincoln buildings could be sold and the programs in those buildings would move to Rapid City High School, where there is excess space. Finally, many of the district's deferred maintenance needs would be taken care of and both Central and Stevens High Schools would receive dollars to address needs related to Pathways programming. Phases two and three wouldn't begin for at least five years, but as of now, they include a rebuild of South Park Elementary School and another new elementary school on the city's west side. The last two phases include numerous renovations for schools at all levels throughout the district, including a library renovation at Central High School and security upgrades at Stevens High School. That was a lot of information. Let's recap. The preliminary recommendation of the facilities task force for phase one, which is the next three to six years, includes three new elementary schools, one north of Catron Boulevard, one in the Parkview area, and one on the north side by Vicki Powers Park. Since new schools will open, older buildings will close including Robbinsdale, Canyon Lake, and Horace Mann. Pinedale, Meadowbrook, Knollwood, and Black Hawk would receive renovation dollars. Two middle schools, south and west, would be rebuilt on the same sites. Stevens High School would receive funding to do major renovations and additions, including a new fine arts wing. Jefferson and Lincoln could be sold and the programs currently in the buildings will move into the extra space at Rapid City High School. And all of our buildings will receive funding to address high school pathways and deferred maintenance needs. Whew, that was a lot. It's a good thing all of this information is available on rcas4word.info.